Hello everybody, this is Evan with Scott Lower Marketing. Today we're going to be going over how you can set up client updates for your opportunities. So to start, we're going to go to our command account by going to agent.kw.com and logging in with your KW username and password. From our dashboard, we're going to go ahead and click on our opportunities icon, which is going to be like the two hands shaking right over here on the left. Now to set your default daily email preferences, when you set the default daily email preference, these preferences will apply to every opportunity in your pipeline that has client updates enabled. So at the top right of the opportunities dashboard, we're gonna click on this gear icon. Now client updates will be sent once a day, as long as the checklist item was completed that day. In the send at section, Choose the time of day that you want your client update emails sent. The time you set is based on the central standard time zone, so calculate accordingly. Now we're going to skip the send from section. This is going to be for setting up client updates for teams. In the send to section, this um, select who you want to send the client update emails to. So client and co-client updates will be sent to both the primary contact associated with the opportunity and the co-seller. Primary client only, client updates will be sent only to the primary contact associated with the opportunity. In the also send to section, choose if you want to be sent a copy of the client updates email, check the owner box if you want a copy, uncheck if you do not. You'll see as you make edits throughout this, this bo box will appear down here where you can save changes or you can also cancel changes. We're going to go ahead and just cancel, but you make sure you click save to yours. Now, if you want to select default opportunity checklist items to include, we're going to go back to our opportunity section. And then we're going to click on the phase you want to add a checklist to on the opportunities dashboard. Now we're going to go ahead and click edit stages and checklist at the top of the page. And then we're going to click on the checklist icon on the stage that you would like to edit. So right here. Now you can add items. I'm oh, sorry about that. Here we go. So this is a checklist for active pre-listing. And we're going to go ahead and over on the right-hand side, select client updates. Or unselect and then click save. Now we're, you will repeat the, the steps for every stage and every phase of the opportunity pipeline that you would like. Now edit the client update preferences for a specific opportunity. Once you set your defaults, you might find that you need to change some of your preferences for an individual opportunity. This could include when the email is sent each day and who receives the client update for that specific opportunity in question. So we're going to go back to opportunities. And we're gonna find and click on the opportunity name that we want to edit in the daily preferences. We're going to use this one. At the top of right, we're going to click on the client updates button. You will notice that the opportunity name shows at the top left of the pop-up. And this will how this is how you know what um, you are editing the preference for this specific opportunity. You can use the toggle at the top left of the page to turn client updates on and off for this specific opportunity. You can also edit this opportunity's daily email preferences on this page. Uh, change the time to which time um, at which these updates will be sent. You can check or uncheck the box next to each of the person's name to add or remove them from the email and use the drop down to the right of each email address to choose whether they will be sent the email directly, CC'd or BCC'd. Once completed, the you'll have the option to click Save Changes at the bottom. 
and make sure you click Save Changes. Now to add one-off opportunity checklists to item, items to, I'm sorry, to add one-off opportunity checklist items to include, you might need to include or exclude specific checklist items and your client updates for a specific opportunity. If you create any one-off checklist items that apply that only apply to one opportunity, you can include these in client e client updates as well. So you, we're going to find the opportunity in your opportunity pipeline, and we're going to go with this one. And we're going to click on the checklist icon icon on the opportunity card. Ooh, I'm sorry. Here we go. Now we're going to hover over the checklist item and check the client update checklist box. So this is going to be here. Now, if you want to include that item on this opportunities client update email, once the item is completed, you can do this for a new one-off checklist item as well. You can select the client update and turn that on here. You can also go through the tasks here and I say the different phases and select whether or not you want the client update to be turned on for each of these sections. Make sure once you are finished, you click done. All right, guys, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at support at scottlawaremarketing.com, and we'd be more than happy to assist you.